welcome today I'm gonna show y'all how to hook up your external keyboard right to the session player have it triggered the drums you're gonna bounce it to audio and as a matter of fact I'm gonna use two keyboards so we're gonna run two keyboards on the session player so without further ado let's get it in <laughs> all right all jokes aside now all right so first we right now this is the drums that's playing out of logics and as you can see right here it says drum kit now if we switch this and put it to external stereo and i'm going to select the Modi X1. We're gonna do the drums and then we can do the bass and the guitar. Let's start with the drums. I don't mess with none of these other stuff except for this auto compensation latency. So you see, we hit external right here and we selected our input. And now when we play it, that's the keyboard. Now let's find some drums. And now let's find some drums for this. So as you see, as I switch the sounds, All right, just say we're gonna use these drums right here, right? So what we're gonna do now is bounce this out to audio by simply adding an audio track. Arm it to record and hit record.
Now, not only that, let's mute this for a second. So if we go into here now, right? Anything we do, any changes we made affects in the keyboard in real time. See, if we select that. Everything is affected. If we had some TAMs, somehow it finds the TAMs. See everything is being affected. Same applies here. Everything is being affected. All right, so now let's mute this. We got this as audio. Let's just run with this. Then now we can add a bass player. And we're going to add a keyboard player. So on the bass player, I'm going to set this one to, hold on, we got to change this to external. And I'm going to put this on uh, Modi X port 3. This is going to play the Yamaha M06. And then on this one. We're going to put external stereo and I'm going to set this one to the Modi X port one, which is the Modi X. And now we should have both keyboards play and we should be able to switch the sounds.
And that's that. That's pretty much how you do it. And then if you want to bounce it to audio, it's pretty much the same thing. Create an audio track. I'll mute one of them, record one at a time. And the same thing applies. You can um change the bass how you want it, tweak it to how you want it, change the chords. You can manually go in there and it's gonna register to the keyboard. I prefer to lose um, external sounds, but with this new plugin, um, what is it called again? The Chroma. I think I could get these digital instruments another try. All right, so let's record the next sound. What I would do is write down your name of the sound you use. You can um, either keep this here, write it down right here, or you can write it down on your audio track in case you have to go back. I tend to work with audio more than MIDI because when I do a project, I don't want to have to go back. I'm not trying to go back unless I'm going to do a remix or something, but usually I like to create new stuff. I don't like to go back. So, as you can see, if we put these back on, tweak it, it's gonna affect the keyboard in real time. Another thing too, you don't have to use an external instrument right here neither. You can use pretty much anything with the session player. So you're not limited to just the pianos that they give you. You could pretty much put any sound there like this. Let's just solo this. Turn it down a little. <laughs> Or, say you want to use this. The same applies. This is what 
what I like about it. You know, if it would have been a little bit different if it was just limited to just the sounds they give you. But with you being able to put anything on this, it'd be a pretty powerful tool. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to do nothing else longer than this. This is just something real quick I wanted to show y'all. Because this was very exciting for me. And I'm loving this Logix 11. This is actually the biggest update to me right now. They have a lot of features that they should have been had. But hey, right now it's still the best program. There's no program out there. You know, everybody Pro Tools. They use Pro Tools. Pro Tools is good if you move it from studio to studio. Other than that, mm -mm -mm. I use all types of programs. Digital Performer, Pro Tools, Logix, everything. But to me, Logix is the best. Especially for producers. It does everything. You want to produce, you want to record. It does it. Makes it master and all that. So, without further ado, this is a wrap. Stay tuned for the next video. Like, subscribe, leave your feedback. Let me know if this was helpful for you. And don't mind my mic going in and out because this is actually a condenser mic. This is my studio mic I'm using. The Nomen U87. And I have like a filt, like a, what would you call this? Like acoustic dome over it. So if you go to the side, you could barely hear me, see, like that. So I literally got to talk right into it. I'm trying to look at the screen on the opposite side of me and talk. So if you hear me going in and out, that's the reason. But anyway, please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If this was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.